Oh, Georgian fans, they love rugby, they love this sport. Whoever you meet in Georgia that watches rugby and their supporters, you can tell that they are ready to come on the pitch with you <laughs> all the time. That you feel that energy, that you feel that that why that they are like, okay, let's go, I'm ready. Italy is a tier one nation which plays like whole year, has a good uh, plays a good competition, six nations, with the quality players, top players, top coaching stuff. So it's uh, Italy is a tough uh, opposition for every team. Italy is the team who is standing above us, like not maybe in the rankings, but in general world, world rugby. It's taken that Italy is somewhere around us, but a little bit better. So if you want to improve, the first opponent to beat is the Italy. If you want to prove that you're, you're better than anybody, so you go step by step. In Italy, for us, it's well, it's a tier, tier one nation. So it's a, we, we are preparing, yes, we are preparing for the World Cup to play the biggest teams or as November test to play Wales or all the rest. So it, it doesn't change. We are just hoping and doing our best to to do the best result for on, on the weekend. Last six nation was for Italy were successful. They won against uh, Welsh at Principality Stadium. It's not uh, easy and also they had a uh, good games against another uh, another team. So we had a good an uh, analysis of uh, Italians. We know we know exactly what they will offer us. What they will do against us, we definitely know that. Yeah, just how we can, I, how we can put against them our strength sides that will be obvious at Sunday. Yes, in Italy squad there are a lot of good players, a lot of quality players, a lot of players who play in very good teams. But well, personally, I, I'm never concentrating on one player. We need to be best versions of ourselves. We need to just play as we nev never have before. Our uh, supporters can, con can go everywhere and support us. Even a couple of years ago at Florence when we had a game against Italy, our supporters was much more than Italians, you know. Uh, we, we are m missing a couple of experienced players. Uh, because of injuries, uh, game was interesting. We made we made some mistakes, which cost us, you know, losing these games. But uh, I hope at Sunday will be different picture. It was 2018, November 2018. It was our first game, first test of the series. A lot of injuries, new coaching staff. We played well but not good enough. We had chance in 2018, uh, but the cir circumstances were a bit different. But this time, I think because we played the first game already, uh, we can say that probably we are better prepared for, the, for that game. We played not a bad game, actually. We, we had a few opportunities where we could break the game differently and would have end up in different score. But Italy played better than us, so they won the game. Hopefully this time, luck will be on our side. A lot of Georgian people came to the uh, stadium that time. Obviously, it will be even more this time. Honestly, <laughs> when the bus drove in, it almost felt like it was in Georgia, but still, it's not the same. It's not the same when you're playing you know, in your homeland, uh, and especially here in Batumi, uh, it's summer. The, the city is packed with, um, with tourists and uh, yeah, I think, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be really good. It's really important that the, that game is in Georgia because last time it was in Italy and uh, yeah, I think if, even for our people it's extra boost to, to be here and uh, to give that backfire <laughs> a bit. I think it's quite important for our people, uh, especially in the western part of Georgia. Uh, this summer we had a chance to, to play like 100% <laughs> times here in, uh, in the Western Part. Uh, the first and last game in Kutaisi and uh, this the, the biggest one in, uh, in Batumi. And I think it, even for the, 
for the people, kids around here, who pr probably don't have chance uh, to to go to Tbilisi and watch some games, or even in other cities in the eastern part, I think it's big uh, opportunity and chance for them. And uh, we are obviously we are really happy to to be here. Uh, and again, play this game in this in this atmosphere because. Yeah, because it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Uh, usually, like before, we played all the games in capital. It's the biggest city, like nearly one and a half million. But in the summer, everybody's coming to Batumi, so the biggest game of the summer internationals will be played here. So, it, this kind of actions will make rugby more popular uh, in all over Georgia. Batumi, I think. It attracts the, the most attention in whole Caucasian uh, region, actually, because it gets really hot in, uh, in the eastern part of Georgia in summer. Everyone just tries to <laughs> escape that and come here and enjoy the sea, simply, <laughs> simply as that. The, the sea is very nice, people are very nice, the infrastructure, everything is very nice. So I recommend to everybody to come and visit Batumi. Food is very good as well, hotels are high level, high standard hotels, so I think everybody who will come to Batumi once, I think everybody will like it and will be coming back all the time. If you want to be more popular, I mean, if we want to more love from people, we have to spend everywhere, you know, sometimes. We have our supporters, Georgian people all, all around the country, and people love rugby just as much in Batumi or Kutaisi as they love in Tbilisi, so it's it's a big pleasure and obviously we have to play all around Georgia in my opinion, it's, it's very nice as well. The spectators of the uh, local team, Batumi Football Club, are crazy people, so I'm hoping they will come to support us too. Also the people like sport, he loves sports and um, they love rugby, so the crowd will, there will be a full crowd on the stadium, so the situation will be amazing. It's our first time uh, on this new stadium, brand new stadium, and uh, we are just all looking forward to it because it's gonna be gonna be amazing. We are just hoping for our best. We have never beaten uh, Tier One Nations at home uh, or Tier One Nation at all. So at at home in the summer, the new stadium, like whole countries around this game, everybody's waiting for the uh, like big, big victory, of course it gives us uh, pressure and the motivation. I think uh, our advantage is uh, to play with big heart, our supporters, and as I mentioned, I will say like that we can play much better for together than anyone's. I believe that. Uh, like average age of the team now is 22, 23 years, which is good. Uh, experienced players also, like Spice, also there is also Spice on the team, in the team. But I'm looking at the youngsters who are like superstars in their teams and they play in top 14, most of them, and they are like leading players there. So I'm hoping if they will play their best, and they will, uh, we can get a good result. Uh, we have prepared very well. I think we will play and we will show we can play good rugby. And we, we need the opportunity to play against the uh, big teams permanently, not twice per year. That, that's our big call, you know. If you watch our under 20s play, you know, there we have a much less gap because we have a more opportunity to play against the tier one countries. Just the last game, if you watch against Scotland, we scored 50 points. It also inspires us. The young under 20s beating the Tier 1 nations, that means that we can do that. They beat Scotland 55 to 12, so let's do it on Sunday. <laughs> on these kind of games, you just cannot waste the opportunities. You just need to execute 
most of the, at least, I don't know, 80% of the opportunities you have, unless, unless, unless you're going to lose. From the first to maybe 83rd or 84th minute, it's gonna, every minute is going to be important because yeah, we couldn't give away, give away anything like easily. Yeah, we're going to be 80 minutes focused and uh, be ready for anything, anytime. <laughs> we will play rugby and we will fight 80 minutes. And who will be strong? He wins. Yeah, any tier one countries for us is always a good challenge and good opportunity to show us, you know. Ourselves, our families, even the whole world, I think is waiting for that game. For some of us, it could be the biggest game of our careers.